Picture this. You're staring at a sealed box. Inside it, a cat. But here's the strange part. Until you open that box, the cat is both alive and dead. Not one or the other, both. It sounds like something out of science fiction, but it's actually one of the most famous thought experiments in quantum physics proposed by Erwin Schrödinger in 1935. It wasn't meant to confuse you. It was meant to expose just how bizarre the quantum world really is. Because in quantum mechanics, particles don't pick a state until they're observed. Until then, they live in superposition multiple states at once. So Schrodinger posed a question. What happens if we apply this weird rule not to atoms, but to something as real as a cat? But here's where things get even stranger. What if the mystery isn't about the cat at all? What if the real clue is about you? Because according to one radical theory, the moment you open that box, the universe doesn't decide what happens. It splits. In one world, the cat is alive. In another, it's dead. And both of you both observers exist in parallel, experiencing different outcomes. This isn't just fantasy. It's the many worlds interpretation, a mind-bending theory introduced by physicist Hugh Everett III in 1957. Everett's idea was bold. He suggested that every time a quantum event occurs, reality doesn't collapse into one outcome it branches. The wave function doesn't choose. It divides. Each possible outcome happens, but in a different universe. Think about that for a second. That job you almost took. That person you almost told the truth to. That version of you who said yes, who said no, who stayed, they all exist. According to many worlds, reality is constantly splitting. Not just in labs, not just in sealed boxes with cats, but in your everyday life. Every decision you make doesn't erase the other options. It creates new timelines, new versions of you, all unfolding at once. Some physicists love this theory. Sean Carroll, a modern theoretical physicist at Caltech, argues it's the simplest explanation of quantum mechanics. We have no mysterious collapses, just logical branching. Others, like Roger Penrose, aren't convinced. He believes consciousness might play a role in collapsing the wave function. He suggests the mind itself might affect reality in ways we don't yet understand. And that's the problem. As wild and fascinating as many worlds is, we can't test it, at least not yet. But even if we can't prove it, the idea changes how we think about life. If every possibility does happen, then your life isn't one fixed story. It's an endless web of outcomes, branching from every decision you've ever made and every decision you will make. It means the you watching this right now is just one thread. There's another version of you who clicked away, another who never saw this, and maybe one who already figured all this out. So maybe the point of Schrodinger's cat isn't to solve the mystery inside the box. Maybe it's to get you to realize something deeper, that the mystery isn't about what's in there, it's about which version of you opens it and which one you choose to become next.